Am I just fooling myself That she'll stop the pain Living without her I go insane Hey guys, keep me Sylvia and welcome back to Seduce Me, the Demon War Damien's Route. In the last episode, two nightmares for the price of one. But also a little panky panky with Damien. And he is such a sweetie. I love him. He's a little body body. He's like that little brother you love so much. And people think that Matthew's a baby. Matthew's a man. I knew it. I knew it. That girl has demon magic. Yay. Now, let's see. We've done scream, attack, cry, stay still, cry again. This wasn't happening. Yay! Woo! Who cares? Go away. Go away. Bye. 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 Bye 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 bye. Yes. Blah 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 blah. Stay in. Uh. Hang on. I gotta look it up. I got to look this up. I have got to look this up. Because I have to go. I want to go with a certain person. Where is it? There it is. I have to find what I was looking for. Let's see. I think we just stay in the room. Yeah, we just stay in the room. Because the one I'm going to be training with is going to be here, so. Yay. Hi, hi person. Uh, uh, refuse it, duh. Why would you want to eat something that's bad? Bye. Wee. Wee. Hey. Bye. Wait a minute. <laughs> I had to get that. Whoa! Whoa! Hi, Carrie! I gotcha! Ah! I, I gotcha! I gotcha! It's okay! Eric! Love, I've got you! God damn you. James! Whoa! Are you alright? Yay, the wives! Hi, Damien! Damien's eyes locked onto my me as he hurried and he hurried towards me. Damien! I swerved around Diana and rushed to Damien, meeting him halfway and wrapping my arms around him tightly. I'm so glad you're safe. I took his son, his warmth, he was here, in my arms, and I couldn't have asked for anything more. Damien seemed to feel the same as he wrapped his arms around my form and buried his face in my shoulder. Um, oh shit, I forgot to put it away. I forgot to pull it up. Shit, 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 shit. Pull it back up, please. I want it back. I want it back. I want. I want it back. Um. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Give him a squeeze. <clears throat> I tucked my hold on Damien, silently expressing my love and happiness at seeing and feeling him again. He squeezed back lovingly, covering my neck with kisses. As Damien and I had our moment, his brother stepped near us, almost in a protective circle. Oh, shit, they're all pissed. Sam, however, moved toward Diana, glaring hard. You've got ten seconds to explain why she's here, bitch. 
<laughs> you got four angry, pissed off. Yeah, they're protective of. Apparently, each brother is now protective of the uh, your routes. Like, let's say you're Eric's fiance. The other four are going to be protective of you, just like it's showing here. I'm going to ignore that insult for the sake of the bride. However, I wasn't the one who brought her here. You're such a terrible liar! I turn to see Matthew and Sam standing in front of me and Damien, ready to attack Diana. The succubus in question, however, seemed unfazed by their attempts at intimidation. Guys? Did she bring you here? What? Uh, turning my head back to Damien, I saw a serious look in his eyes. I had only seen that look once before. When Diana confronted me and I showed and showed me his past. I shook my head. No, she didn't bring me here. It was the Demon Lord. I beg your pardon? Are you sure? I stared at Damien, seeing something in his eyes ignite like an angry flame that was quickly growing. His hold on me tightened as he looked at Diana. Why did he bring her here? I looked over to Diana, knowing that she would explain, but I was surprised to see her flinch back at his expression. Was she scared? Shaking her head, Diana cleared her throat and looked back to Damien, settling back into her uncaring gaze. He wanted to lure you all back, knowing that at least you, Damien, would chase after her, and the others would follow. Obviously, his plan worked. It was time for the boys who flinched in surprise, feeling the weight of her words. However, Damien gathered himself and spoke up again. Well, thank you for keeping her safe. We'll be... She can't leave. <laughs> Oh shit, that moment when you know you fucked up, that faced five of them this time. And why not? She's been cursed by the Demon Lord. She can't leave unless she dies or until we kill him. You plan to kill him? We're obviously not going to choose the former. We've been fighting <laughs> the Demon Lord for ten years now. Yes, they're Might not well going to kill him. Another reason to kill him. Hi, how's Bando Sam, by the way? My eyes looked to Damien, wondering if he, what he was thinking. Then it then shrugged. However, it will take some time to plan out our attack. We can't just walk into his castle and slit his throat. Aw, but that's fun. Damien finally looked back to me, staring into my eyes as if he was trying to find some sort of response. I stared back, trying to find some hint as to what he was thinking about in his eyes. He slowly leaned forward and kissed my forehead before he turned his head back to Diana. How much time do you need? One week. There's the faces again. Hi, husband, oh, Sam, you look so hot. <laughs> one week. And then there's all Where this. is this number? <clears throat> and now, I will go with the trap. I see the trap! Yay. We need to be better than the Demon Lord. He was willing to sacrifice lives to trap me here. But it only showed how desperate he was to win and how little he valued life. He would lose his war one way or another. It wasn't worth losing someone who could help turn the tide of war. When can you put a barrier up? We can leave after this, um, meeting is over. Are you sure this is the best choice? Yes, husband number three. The curse isn't the only option. We need to show that we're better than him. Yay! I looked at Diana just in time to catch her visible eye twitch. Aww, you wanted to kill somebody. But she shook her head and looked at the rabbit woman. Are you quite positive this will work? I am very certain. Since it will be just three of us going, we can shadow travel there and be back by the morning. Yay! Diana looked at her guard and nodded. Very well. If you believe it will work, then I trust you will make sure it does. As the guard nodded and slightly bowed, the other demons seemed to let out a sigh of relief. Were they were worried about performing the curse? Diana shook her head before crossing her arms and looking directly at me. So, since you'll be here for a while, we might as well give you names that you can use to refer to everyone here. Oh, oh, are we Must. For the sake of time, we'll use Rabbit. simple names. Sergeant! It's easier on the tongue. My lady. You may call him. Are um, you sure? Call him only if you're. Okay. Well, now that we have a. What about us? You don't expect us to sit around. Actually, I do. You all don't. Excuse me? Just hold on a. 
I will not take untrained <laughs> and unarmed bandits. Excuse me? Just hold on a... I will not take un Excuse me? Just hold on a... I will not take untrained and unarmed beings into a war zone. Hold on. That's not fair, Diana. I'm only trying to make sure you all get back to the human world safely. I can't expect you all to fight in this war. Let me and my brothers train, then. We're demons, for fuck's sake. We know how to fight. Uh, what about Irene? She's a demon, too. No? Okay. <clears throat> Boy, yay. You all realize that- Yep, bye. How are they? You look really nice. Hey, you look really nice. Good choice. Ah, oh, Carrie, thank you. You look really nice. Aw, Damien, you just copied what Carrie said, but you... you thank you. Hey, how are you going? Oh, <laughs> no promises! No promises, yes. Whoa. It's okay. The walk to our, the room was filled with awkward silence. We were- what we were supposed to do- what were we supposed to do here? Dame and I were both human and while, yes, we both knew he'd have to help in the war, he wasn't a demon anymore. I grimaced, feeling the nervousness of the situation take hold of me. This was going to be a rocky adventure. Who knew what would happen? What to expect? I can only guess that time would tell. I gripped Damien's hand harder, letting my nerves sink in. Naturally, Damien smiled and kissed my forehead. It's okay. Everything will be alright, I promise. I nodded, but some part of me was still fearful, despite his reassurance. We were in the demon world. Humans in the demon world. I was worried what would become Damien now that he was in his home plane as something he wasn't born as. I looked up at Damien, seeing him focus on following our guide to get us to our room. I was curious. What was going through his mind? I was sure he was worried when I was taken, but now they had me back, what was he thinking of now? For a moment, I briefly, briefly wished he had his mind reading ability. I wanted to know what went through Damien's mind. <clears throat> I briefly wished I had his mind reading ability. I wanted to know what went through Damien's mind at every, everything we did, every step we made, at every event that came along the road. Feeling my stare, Damien turned his head and looked down at me, furrowing his eyebrows in confusion. What is it? I bit my, lightly bit my lip. Did I want to tell him what was on my mind? What do you think about this whole thing? I had to verbalize my curiosity. Damien took the, in the question before turning to the hall once again, frowning a bit. I think it's a really bad situation. You're trapped here, and I'm human, so I can't do much to help in the war. As Damien squeezed my hand, however, I felt my heart flutter a bit. Still... I want to help and bring you back. I'll do everything I can to send us back home. Damien. I naturally hugged his arm to me, causing him to gasp a bit before and look over. A faint blush ran across his cheeks. He was so adorable and I absolutely loved him. Whatever drew me to him made my heart feel absolutely lucky to have him. <clears throat> As we reached our room, I took it, it in that the ambassador room I had claimed the night before was officially sanctioned for me and Damien. The others were given rooms in another part of the castle, so we had some space to ourselves. Thanks. <laughs> At least we don't have to worry about other shit. Stepping in, I took a seat on the bed, feeling mild exhaustion sweep over me. However, Damien looked around the room in slight awe. I tilted my head, wondering why. Damien stepped around the room, looking almost looking around and observing every piece of decor. As he got to the mantel, he almost looked stunned to see the design of the architect of it. It was almost like watching a little kid walk into a museum. Damien? <laughs> His face is like, oh shit, I got caught. My voice caught his attention, causing Damien to jump up and look at me in surprise. As he calmed down, he rubbed the back of his neck in nervousness. Sorry, um, I've never really been in a room like this before, so this is a bit of a surprise to me. Really? What kind of room did you have? I stared Damien in shock. He really has never really saw, see, saw a room like this? We were in the demon world, though. How could this not have been familiar to him? 
I was positive that you had at least seen a room like this before his time here. In his time here. Damien shook his head in reply. I never had a room growing up. Oh, Sweet little puppy. Come here. Let me give you a hug. My And my heart suddenly crumbled in my chest. I knew that Damien was the mistreated bastard son of the demon lord, but to not have a room? That was almost cruel. I couldn't help imagining Damien sleeping on the cold marble floor of the Grand Hall, or even in a cell. My soul began to weep for him, but I knew that it was just better to ask him about his experiences than assume what the absolute worst case is. How did you sleep then? Well, uh, demons don't sleep at all, actually. That made absolute no sense. Wait, what? They don't? How then why do they have beds and stuff then? Damien blushed a bit with a grimace on across his lips. Well, other than having, um, <laughs> sex. <laughs> demons rest. Like lying down and reading or something like that, but demons never close their eyes for long. It opens them up to being taken advantage of. Then how the heck do demons function? With energy and food. As long as a demon has both, or at least one or the other, they can keep functioning without needing to sleep. Lying down simply lets them stop using their energy. Then, what about the human world? Were you and the others pretending to sleep? Damien shook his head, driving another confused rage into my brain. What? Demons could sleep then, but only if they wanted to? But they absolutely didn't need to, so they didn't have to? Damien laughed a bit in my confusion. When we went to the human world, we got to experience sleep for the first time. It was so good for us, and we felt relaxed, so we kept at it, like regular humans. Besides, the risks we had here are not the same as the risks in the human world. There was still a lot I had to learn about demons, apparently. Not that I needed to, but... Not that I needed to know, but my curiosity about them grew more as I learned more about them. Damon walked his, smiled and walked to sit over to sit beside me and kissed my cheek. I think we'll be safe to sleep, though. This is Lilith Castle, after all. <clears throat> Apparently, Jonah had so much time, so much trouble saying Lil Lilith, that he started crying. He's like, I will never get this. <laughs> Lilith. Lilith Castle? This place has a name? With a nod, Damien pointed over to the mantle, tracing through the air at the markings and the stone working. If I remember right, James told me about the first succubus, Lilith, and how she gave birth to Incubi and Succubi from this very castle. Diana is her descendant, so she now owns this place. I like how Jonas is Diana. Diana. Wow. So Diana really was a princess. I was a bit surprised to confirm that fact, but in the end it made sense. She had the attitude of one, that was for sure. Damon wrapped an arm around my shoulder and smiled. At least we'll get some good sleep tonight. Yeah. I could feel, could feel that we were would be okay in our room. The castle was well fortified from what I knew, and Diana seemed to be on top of making every sure thing sure ran smoothly as it did as the uh, as did the other re 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 rebel leaders everything was like a well-oiled machine god damn it now i got that high school musical song like uh what's it called <laughs> work this out we're a champion team a well-oiled machine michaela did you watch high school musical when you were writing this <laughs> probably not I leaned my head on Damien's shoulder, letting go a small sigh. I'm sorry. Huh? For what? I looked up at Damien, remembering that I had been gone an entire day. I must have ma worried him sick. I made everyone else go crazy in my absence, not only from the wedding, but from the entire human world. Uh, for going missing. I was gone for a whole day. Damien stared at me for a moment before smiling and kissing my forehead. Were you really here a whole day? I furled my eyebrows, staring up at him and trying to figure out if he was joking or being serious. 
Seeing my expression, Davy let out a small laugh and hugged me to his side. To me, you were only gone for about four or five hours. Wait, what? That could not be... There was no way I was gone for that short a period of time. I remember sleeping in this room, going through an entire day of being in this world and trying to get home, home to him twice. That definitely did not add up. With a small smirk, Damien released me and placed his head on my head. Time runs differently between the human and demon world. A whole day here is about five hours in the human world. You weren't gone very long. My jaw dropped. Even time was different here? This world was full of surprises. I felt myself hold my cheeks and try to take it in. How did everyone react? Damien frowned a bit and gently wrapped his arms around me, hugging me fully to him and resting his head on mine. We were all worried sick about you. Damien. I could only imagine what Damien went through in those five hours. When I didn't arrive, what was the first thing he did? What was the first thing anyone did? I felt guilty, but I also knew that what had happened was out of my hands. Damien let out a small sigh and kissed my head. When you didn't show up, we sent the girls to find you while my brothers managed to wipe everyone's memories and delay the wedding for a couple of days. We didn't know how fast it would take us to find you. Oh. Damien's grip tightened around me as he pulled me even closer to him. I had to rely on my brothers to find you. There was no clue to where you were taken, so I had to sit and wait until they managed to locate you. Here. Then we came. Then you came. Embrace him! Wait, is that the right way? Embrace him! It doesn't say, so I'm just going to embrace him. I was stunned by the love I was given by Damien. What the f- Oh. My PS4 just randomly popped up. Like, uh, okay, thank you for popping in. Despite being human, he traveled through the gates of worlds to find, try and find me. I was lucky to have a loving man like him. My only regret was being in this world instead of at the altar with him. I wrapped my arms around Damien and pressed me forward to his shoulders, closing my eyes and taking the inside of the wall. <clears throat> Eventually, Damien pulled away and stared out at me with a tired smile. We should get some rest. There's a long week ahead of us. I nodded in agreement, knowing exactly what he meant. We crawled into bed and snuggled into each other's arms, embracing the darkness to slumber once more. Don't tell me there's another fucking nightmare. As uh, sleepwalking me, a thought ran through my mind. What would happen? Obviously the boys would help fight in this, the war, but what about Damien? He was indeed human and had no abilities to use as such. Then again... Maybe he could still use magic as a human? Carrie was able to do so and she was a human. But she was a witch trained in magic. Damien's abilities came with his demon side, which he no longer had. How would he fight then? I could float in my, around in my mind and in my dreams as I drifted to a calm and peaceful sleep. Why can't I sleep? Huh? Something's wrong. Something is indeed wrong, boy. You're in the demon world, and you won't even acknowledge your demon side. Huh? What are you doing here? Observing a disappointment for amusement. You keep continuing to fail at living so much that it's become a wonderful form of entertainment. The demon who lost his powers. Doesn't that sound absolutely ridiculous? Let's replace it with the demon whose wife almost became the demon lord's next bed bitch. What do you want? Oh, come now. Don't be so hostile. You'll wake the human up. She and I are both human. I cannot believe it. Is that what you still think, boy? Do you truly believe yourself to be human? Yes. No matter how many times you taught me, I know the truth. I... I'm human. Well, I hate to break the delusion you may be under, but you should know that becoming a human is impossible for a demon. That's not true. 
I've been a human for over two years now. <laughs> I don't believe you. Screw you, voice. Then you are more of a disappointment than I imagined. God, why don't you just give up? Who then the again, if you gave up, then I would lose my entertainment. Leave. Fine, fine, I shall. But heed my words, boy. Tomorrow will be a very rough awakening for you. I can feel it. The morning rose with me stretching and yawning the sleep out of my body. I surprisingly had a peaceful night, but apparently Damien didn't, as he wasn't in bed with me. I looked to the side to see him not under the sheets with me, but standing by the fireplace, staring into the flames with bags under his eyes. I slowly rose from the bed and covered my mouth as another, another yawn escaped me. Damien? At the sound of my voice, Damien looked over, eyes glazed over in exhaustion. I could tell that something had kept him up, so I slid my legs off the bed and walked over to him, wrapping my arms around him. What's wrong? I looked up into his violent blue eyes, trying to f find an answer within them, and despite it being impossible. Whatever it was that kept him up, I wanted to know and try to help. Still, Damien remained silent. His arms, are, however, wrapped themselves around my form and gently pulled me against his body, leaning his forehead against mine. With a soft, tired sigh, Damien closed his eyes and gave me a small squeeze. Did you sleep well? I nodded, but remained concerned. If something was wrong, I wanted to know and try to help him get over it. Still, Damien said nothing and just smiled at me. Good. That's good. What about you? <clears throat> I needed to know what was wrong. Something about Damien didn't seem to be okay, and I wanted to see what I could do. Damien simply stared down at me, exhaustion plaguing his eyes before shaking his head. Nothing's wrong. At least, I don't think so. Then why do you look so tired? Damien pressed his lips together and looked down at the space between us in normal shame. What was he hiding? I didn't sleep much last night. Sorry. He furrowed and cupped his cheek. He was warm, probably from sitting in front of the fire for, so for a long while. Still, I was not worried for Damien. Maybe you should head back to bed and try to catch some sleep. Damien opened his mouth to speak, but was interrupted by a sound of pounding fist out of a drawer. Oi! Got some food! Let us in! God damn you, Sam! I love you, Husbando, but god damn you! Rise and shine! Yay, Carrie! You're much nicer! Damien and I, sir. Damien and I stared at the door before holding hands and circling around the, the bed to sit on the edges of it. As we sat into the mattress, Damien called out, masking his exhaustion. Come in. Hi, Sam. Yay! Carrie, you are my favorite. Next to Twyla, but shh. Twyla doesn't exist. At least in this one. The door opened to reveal the other incubi and their wives, who began to slowly fall in with a plate of food in their hand. Carrie and Sam, however, had two and passed us their extra plate. There you go. Thanks, Carrie! There you go, bro. Thank you, Sam. There you Come go, here. bro. Thank you, There you go, bro. <laughs> oh my god, Kate. Gay, gay. Thank you, Sam. I want to hear that again. There, there you go, bro. There you go, bro. Thank you, Sam. The group settled into the room, making themselves comfy, where, whether they were standing or sitting on the bench. Standing or sitting on the bench, yeah. As I looked down at the plate, I, in my hands, I took note of the food on it. Jerky, cheese, fruit, and bread. Simple. I began to chow down on the fruit as James cleared his throat. So, we need to discuss training. I need a train, I know. Sam and Matthew let us simultaneous groan, obviously not in the mood to get into the conversation James wanted to start up. Do we have to? Can't we wait until after breakfast? Yes, please. As much as I would agree, we are strapped for time. 
We need to settle a plan, and soon. You four can go do that. We train like we used to do. Go and kick the bastard's ass, and we go home. Done. <laughs> I love you, Sam. You're my... F this is why you're my husband. Oh, you're blood... You're boy... Yeah. You're straight to the point. Sam began to stuff his face, finishing... Finish saying his piece. As James pinched the bridge of his nose in a little sigh of irritation, Carrie grabbed, sh grabbed Sam's shoulder and shook it slightly, making him look up better. <laughs> as awesome as you are, <laughs> I don't think that'll be enough. <laughs> High five, Carrie! Indeed. We may be five strong, but we'd still be going up against the man who has always been stronger than all of us combined. We need to think logically about this. Uh, James, your math is off. You are four strong. Well, not to bring up the elephant in the room, but <sighs> are you Norm, guys shut kind up. of Downey brother? At least demon-wise? Shut up, Norn! Norn, how dare you! Everyone looked at Norn, taking in what she had said. She was right. Damien was human now and couldn't train like a demon. Right? Damn you, Norn! Damn you! You made Damien sad! Damien looked down at his plate again and began to eat in silence. What was wrong? The other two didn't chat, chat, ignoring me and Damien. While Damien may be human now, he can still fight. Exactly! Any human can fight, really. If you piss them off enough. <coughs> I think Damien's got more of a reason to be pissed off than anyone else. <laughs> and Sam would know, cause... Violet's been pissed off a little too much, and she, he's rubbed off on her. Yeah! All five of us can kick his ass! Four demons in a human style! <laughs> According to um, Ethan Nakashima, who voices Matthew, he did like a pose when he said that. Like the Power Rangers pose. Oh my god, you should watch the interview. Or Did he say it in the interview? No, it's in the bloopers. God damn it. Well, not exactly. Fuck you, Diana. Hi. To my surprise, her expression was guilt very guilt-driven and regretful demeanor. Uh, something in my gut began to turn. What did Diana mean? What did she have in mind? Not exactly. You're not exactly down, a brother. At least not in the sense you are insinuating. Wait, what? Then I stepped further into the room, placing her hands together by her stomach and looking to Damien, who simply looked back at her with a tired but stern glit eyes. What do you mean? The room began to fill with a tense aura, making it clear that Diana was going to drop some sort of bombshell on us. In a fit of discomfort, Sam rolled her shoulders and practically spat out at Diana. Well, out with it. With a heavy and low breath, Diana looked into Damien's piercing gaze, no longer able to hide what secret she was keeping. Damien, can you read my mind right now? Silence once again trickled into the air. I looked at Damien, now very consumed and concerned. Did he still have his mind reading abilities? I thought she turned him human. He wasn't a demon anymore, right? Oh, snap! His eyes! As I stared, Damien kept his gaze locked with Diana, concentrating on her. Eerily slowly, his eyes began to widen with fearful dread. Was he able to read her mind after all? The next second became blurred as Damien pounced off of the bed and charged at Diana, slamming her into the wall by her neck. You lied to me! Damien! Hey! You swore that I would be human! I instantly stood, lost in a state of shock from seeing the Damien lock Diana in a fist chokehold, pressing her heart against the stone wall behind her. <clears throat> Naturally, Diana gripped Damien's wrist, trying to pry it off of her. Why can I read your thoughts? Desperate for air, Diana lifted her leg up and kicked Damien off of her, vaulting him back in, back to slam into Sam and Carrie. God damn you! God damn you, Damien! Diana. Diana buckled to the ground, coughing wildly as Sam managed to catch Damien and keep them both upright as Carrie held onto the bench to keep from falling back. Damien! 
I instantly rushed over to Damien, pulling him from Sam's hold and wrapping my arms around him. He was shaking, and I caught the sight of tears running down his cheeks, as if he was trying to disbelieve what he was happening. What did you do to him? Diana lifted her head and grasped her neck. However, her expression wasn't one of rage, but one of still deep regret. She knew this would happen. Was This was a deserved punishment. She expected this. I never turned you human. I only drained you of your energy through a ritual. It was supposed to completely wipe out any need for energy, making you human. But you've never been completely transformed. Damien attempted to lunge at Diana again, causing me to instinctively grip onto him to keep him back. None of this made sense. If he was still a demon, then eventually he wouldn't have needed energy. Yet there was no point where he drained me it from me. But Damien never felt like a demon. We've been practically magic-free for two years. That doesn't make sense. I've had no magic, no mind reading for two years. I never felt the need to feed or drain any energy the entire time. How is this possible? You're in the demon world. This world is full of magic, strong enough to rekindle your abilities. The human world is too pure to give your body the power it needed to convert back to your demon state. The entire situation became a moronic fusion. Damien never became human? Then didn't fulfill her end of the deal? What was going on? <clears throat> Damien eventually slumped into my arms, his adrenaline completely drained as he took in the truth of what had become of him. At the same time, the situation hit me as well. Damien was still a demon, unconsciously so, but still unchanged. A part of me was relieved, while the other part of me felt incredibly sorry for him. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Damien looked up at Diana, eyes full of tired rage. Diana stared back, flinching at the sight. I could feel the anger re revolving around Damien's body as I held him close to me, which in turn almost frightened me. You will never be sorry for anything. The Princess of Lilith is too prideful to give a damn about anyone but herself, and it's always been that way. I could hear the venom snaking into his words as he struck them at the succubus. However, there was also deep pain and hurt. Who wouldn't be? He had been living a lie, and the reality of the truth was crashing down around him. Was it funny? Tricking me into believing you? Oh, it must have been. Because you fooled me for the past two years, and managed to get away with my energy. You always get what you want, don't you? Don't say anything. You're, you're apparently supposed to let him rail into her. He was right. This was unfair. Diana swore to make him human, and she tricked him into believing she had. Despite the cruel tone of Damien's words, Diana deserved to hear each one. Diana slowly stood and rubbed her neck, rolled tears running down her face, but her expression contorted to one of cruel hatred. Well, the joke's on me then. I returned to see my kingdom in flames and my family gruesomely slaughtered, so I guess I didn't get what I wanted either. That caused silence to engulf the room. That news formed a dark pit in my stomach, forcing me to imagine such a scene and shake it out of my thoughts furiously. Damien didn't speak. Instead, he moved and sat down in the bed, his head in his hands as he curled over his knees. I followed, wrapping my arms around him comfortingly. Damien's brothers, however, each took a step toward Diana. Oh, fuck. If they weren't pissed off before... That just flipped the switch to kill mode. Give Damien his energy back. Yeah. Impossible. Oh, shit. Like hell it is! If he's still a demon, he needs his energy to fight. I've spent the last ten years fighting the Demon Lord with both of their energies. I'm not as powerful as I was then. So oh, I no longer have the ability to give him anything without risking my life. You're fuck you! Who said we gave a damn about you? <laughs> oh, Sam, your voice. I've Wait. spent the last ten years fighting Don't the say it again, with Kai. both of- Who said we gave a damn about you? <laughs> you tell her, Sam. You tell her. Tell her, husbando. Tell her. Sam stu up to stepped up to Diana, leaving nose to nose with her. 
His anger flared around his body, giving an intimidating warning that didn't seem to faze her. You fucked over our brother. We don't give a shit about what happened because of your fuck-up. You're gonna fix this. Or else. Or else we're gonna find out in the next episode how pissed off Sam's gonna be. Remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys then. Bye!